video, I'm going to be putting five sunscreens, mineral sunscreens, through the Brown Skin Friendly Report Card to see if they hold up as a sunscreen you want to use on darker skin tones this summer. If you're new here, welcome and please click the subscribe button right there so you don't miss out on my long videos and YouTube shorts. In this edition of the BSF or the Brown Skin friendly report card, you're going to be looking at five sunscreens in this report card to see how they measure up when it comes to skin of color or darker skin tones. And since summer is around the corner, I've specifically picked sunscreens I thought were going to be suitable for summer. Now onto a common question I often get, what is the difference between a chemical and a mineral or physical sunscreens? First, chemical sunscreens. Chemical sunscreens use what we call organic filters like able benzones, salicylates, and cinnamides. Now, these UV filters are combined in formulations to help increase your photostability, meaning reduce your likelihood of breaking down under the sun and to cover a wide range of the ultraviolet spectrum. They are known to be more cosmetically appealing on skin, they don't leave a white cast. They are also the majority of most sunscreens that you find over the counter, on your shelves, in your drugstores, in general. Another thing to consider is that chemical sunscreens can be absorbed systemically, meaning they can end up in the bloodstream after application on skin. However, no adverse health effects have been identified associated with chemical sunscreen filters. Mineral sunscreens, on the other hand, use inorganic filters or what we call metal oxides. The FDA currently has approved two mineral sunscreen ingredients, that's zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. And like their chemical sunscreen counterparts, they work by absorbing, reflecting, and scattering ultraviolet radiation, releasing it in the form of heat in order to protect you. Physical mineral sunscreens tend to be uh, less associated with allergic and irritant contact dermatitis. That's why we love them for eczema and sensitive skin conditions like rosacea and uh, lupus. And they're more photostable than their chemical sunscreen counterparts, so they don't easily break down when exposed to sunlight. They're also not absorbed systemically, so they're a great option if you're worried about systemic absorption of chemical sunscreen ingredients. However, they tend to leave a whitish or chalky cast on skin that can be really striking on darker skin types. Thankfully, some brands have really worked on formulations that go on well on skin of color by making them tinted or adding other ingredients that actually decrease or minimize the white cast. That's why we have the VSF Report Card. I'm going to present you with some options of mineral sunscreens that have better formulations so you can find out what options you have. Let's start with the serum sunscreens first. I like serum sunscreens because they're lightweight, perfect for the hot and humid summer weather. So I always make sure um, when places are getting really warm and hot that I have some mineral sunscreens that are in serum or lotion form that are more lightweight and uh, I'm not going to feel so heavy on my skin because I tend to get oily during the summer. So for that I picked the one by Eva Issa and the Venus Williams 11 sunscreen. Let's start with Venus Williams' sunscreen that's a tennis superstar sunscreen. So here are the stats on the BSF report card for this sunscreen. It is the Unrival Sun Serum SPF of 35. It's a broad spectrum 100% mineral sunscreen with 25% zinc oxide for sun protection. People always ask about how much sunscreen to put. So for sunscreen on the face, it's always about half a teaspoon to the face, ears, and neck. And then for the rest of the body, it's a shot glass to the entire body. Because I'm missing the half a teaspoon measuring teaspoon, I am going to be using the quarter teaspoon but we're going to do it twice to make half a teaspoon because I don't know where I kept my half a teaspoon measuring teaspoon. <laughs> it comes in a dropper, this sunscreen. And there you have it. It's very, very lightweight. You can see the texture right there. And that's one of the reasons why I really like it because you can layer it with other skincare products so easily. 
thing I don't like about the dropper is that it just takes forever to get enough out of this dropper. Since I really wanted to get through this faster, I just decided to skip the dropper. That's about how much a quarter is. It goes on feeling greasy and oily-ish. But as you keep on rubbing it into skin, that crystal-like feeling starts going away. Don't forget the neck, guys. This is a quarter teaspoon. We're still on a quarter teaspoon. So I think it's blending super well on skin. Now, if you have oily skin, um, this might make it a lot more shinier, but experience using the sunscreen before lets me know that that kind of goes away with time. That's the first round of the Venus Williams on Rival Sun Serum. We're gonna layer a second quarter of a teaspoon. I actually like that I'm doing this in two parts instead of just straight up half a teaspoon because then you really get to see how it goes or layers. Making sure we don't forget our neck. Often forgotten area, making sure we get the ears. So we can really see how the sunscreen looks on my darker skin tone. It looks like we're having some white cast. It's not like the other white casts I'm used to that are so super heavy. This is still really good by most mineral sunscreen standards. I can deal with a little bit of white cast, I don't mind, because it's typical of mineral sunscreens. It spreads very well on skin, and I think it's very moisturizing. So this is the final look of my Venus Williams on Rival Sun Serum Sunscreen with a 100% mineral broad spectrum SPF of 35. This is the level of white cast you're going to get. It's something that I feel is really tolerable. Now my face has this nice silky finish. It's very soft, very soft and moisturized. So I like the final texture of this sunscreen. And here is the final great card for Venus Williams on Rival Sun Serum Sunscreen. So guys, let me know what you think of the final grade for this Venus Williams on Rival Sun Serum Sunscreen. Between um, each sunscreen review, I am using micellar water to take off the sunscreen. By the way, I love micellar water. I just had to mention that because it just lifts up dirt if you have sensitive skin. Definitely get this. So it's helping to cleanse my skin and prep it for the next sunscreen for you guys. The next sunscreen on the Brown Skin Friendly Report card is none other than the Ava Issa Sun E Serum Drops. Now this is a 100% broad spectrum mineral sunscreen with 25% zinc oxide with an SPF of 35. I like sunscreens like this for the summer. I totally do something that is lightweight and easy to layer other skincare products. It also comes in a dropper and uh, it is lightweight as well, although it's way thicker than the Venus Williams on Rival Sun Serum. Just look at that. Definitely a little bit thicker. Let's see what we have going with the Eva Isa Sun E Serum Drops. You need half a teaspoon, so we're going to use this twice like we did for the Venus Williams on Rival Sun Serum. Just gonna rub it in between my hands and apply it to my skin. It kind of has the same feeling like the Venus Williams on Rival Sun Serum. It goes on like it's Crisco and very oily and I don't know what you're thinking but for the summer it's already hot and humid and I'm gonna be super oily you know but you're gonna start off maybe in the morning using this when you're not really oily and we'll see how it goes we'll see if it blends in and if it just keeps being super oily the white cast is not as intense as most mineral sunscreens but we're gonna keep blending to see how that turns out rubbing it in sometimes rubbing helps improve the white cast. 
Okay, way better. So this is half a teaspoon of the Eva Isa. So far, it's looking good, like I told you. Sometimes you just have to rub in the mineral sunscreen to get rid of the white cast, and that is the case with this one. I can tell you that the texture is really, really good. It feels very lightweight. My skin feels very, very moisturized. I'm going to go in with my second round of sunscreen. And this is how the Eva Isa sunscreen is looking. My skin doesn't feel greasy. Initially putting it on, it just felt like I was pouring Crisco on my face, just like the Venus Williams sunscreen. But rubbing it in, I would say there's less of that feeling. My skin feels really, really moisturized. The sunscreen is quite lightweight as well. So this is a good sunscreen for the summer for sure. As far as the white cast, as you can see for yourself, I mean, I don't know if you can tell with the lighting, but it doesn't have an intense white cast. If there's any, it's super subtle. I, this is a white cast I feel like I can tolerate. It's so minimal, it's hardly even there. You tell me in the comment section what you think of this finish. Thing with this is I don't know if I have time for the dropper. <laughs> but the good thing about it is you can just open it up and pour it onto your skin and uh, you're good to go. And guys, here is the final grade of the Ava Isa Sun E Serum Drops on the BSF Report Card. Let me know your thoughts on this Eva Isa Sun E Serum Sunscreen Drops. Moving away from the sunscreen serums, we are going to jump into sunscreen creams. This time we're going to be looking at Taizo. This is a Taizo AM Replenish Sunscreen. This is a broad spectrum sunscreen with zinc oxide of 16% as the main active sun blocking ingredient. But the one thing I like about this sunscreen when it comes to its stats is that this sunscreen also has ceramides, vitamin E and C, which are antioxidants. So you get your antioxidant protection. If you're not going to layer on vitamin C, no worries, you already have that in your sunscreen. So antioxidants help boost sun protection in sunscreen and this one comes with vitamin C and E to do just that. Vitamin E is also very moisturizing. Ceramides help with the moisture barrier. So this sunscreen, if you have dry skin, this may be something to look into because it is richly formulated. It has an SPF of 40. So let's see how it measures up in the BSF report card. Now it's also tinted, forgot to mention that. So we're gonna start by layering on a quarter of a teaspoon. So the sunscreen's a little bit thicker. There you have it right there. Gosh, it's so buttery soft. Oh, guys, texture feels so good. It's easy to spread. We wanna make sure we have half a teaspoon. So after this, we're going to layer another quarter of a teaspoon. Round two. I definitely recommend the sunscreen if you have dry skin. It is super, super moisturizing on skin. This is the final look of the Taizo AM Replenish sunscreen on my skin tone. So here's my final grade on the Brown Skin Friendly Report Card for the Taizo AM Replenish Lightly Tinted Mineral Sunscreen. Let me know down in the comment section what you think. Next up on the BSF Report Card is the Elta MD UV Elements Broad Spectrum Sunscreen. This is the tinted version. It has an SPF of 44. And uh, ingredients include the zinc oxide and titanium dioxide as the main ingredients or active ingredients for sun protection. Zinc oxide is 10%, titanium dioxide is 5.5%. It also has hyaluronic acid for added hydration. So let's see how the Elta MD stands up to the BSF report card. It's a quarter of a teaspoon, don't mind, the label is off, but we've seen that at the beginning. So there you go. It has a more creamier texture. So we're gonna start with that. First, I'm just gonna rub it on my palms and apply it on my face and neck and ears. Don't forget those areas. It feels great on skin. I'm liking the texture so far. Okay, that's a quarter of a teaspoon on my face and neck and ears. 
Not too bad, not too bad. So I'm gonna keep blending and then we're going to see where we arrive at. So after blending, this is what the Elta MD is looking like. It did get better with blending. It had a more of a stronger white cast when I began, but it took quite some blending effort. This is the final look of the Elta MD sunscreen. The UV elements brought spectrum 100% mineral sunscreen. And so here's my final grade on the Elta MD UV Elements Broad Spectrum SPF 44 100% Mineral Sunscreen. The last sunscreen on the BSF report card today is none other than the Coats Flawless Complexion Tinted SPF 50 Sunscreen. Its main active ingredient for sun protection is 20% zinc oxide. The claim on the sunscreen is that it's vanishing zinc oxide. So every time I read the words invisible and vanishing, I just have to try it. So we're going to do that. So that's the texture. It's very, very creamy. You can see right there, we're going to use a quarter of a teaspoon for the first part of the application. Let's see how the coat's flawless complexion does. It's a little bit thicker than the other ones. Now, it's super soft. It's easy to spread. It's giving a little shine. So yeah, the white cast is coming through. Definitely coming through, but hey, is it gonna last? That's how Coats is looking like. But a quarter of a teaspoon, so let's go on to the next quarter to make half a teaspoon and see how it looks. Okay. So we're gonna apply it to skin. It gives um, skin a kind of greasy finish look. So if you have oily skin, it doesn't necessarily feel greasy to me, but I've seen other reviews where people thought it was just too greasy. So take that into consideration for this hot, humid summer weather where um, your sebaceous glands are going to be going crazy with excess sebum production. It's easily spreadable. It's lightweight, definitely moisturizing. If you have dry skin, you do not have to worry about this one. This is the final look of Coats Flawless Complexion Sunscreen. After an hour, white cast, if there was any, completely gone. It just leaves you with this kind of greasy finish. So if you have oily skin, definitely pay attention to this one. However, it's an affordable mineral sunscreen that doesn't leave much of a white cast. The thing I like about this sunscreen is it's accessible. It's available online and at Ulta, so you can walk to the store and get it. Accessibility is not an issue. So let me know what you think. And here is the final great card for the Coats Flawless Complexion Sunscreen. That concludes this episode of the Brown Skin Friendly Report Card. Let me know what you liked about any of the sunscreens or what you did not like. If you've used any of them in the past before and had a different experience than what I just shared with you on here, please certainly share them. We come in different shades of dark and brown, so I know what is suitable for me may not be suitable for you. So there's still an element of trial and error involved with all this mineral sunscreens. But I hope this review takes out a little bit some of the guesswork in terms of other aspects of it. So yeah, leave your questions, comments below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so by now and like this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.